right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good How morning. Are you? How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for agreeing to be a guest this morning on Wisdom and Insights, Coffee, Donuts, and Conversation. Do you have your coffee and your donut? I don't drink coffee. Um, I really only drink water, um, except for very special occasions. <laughs> I might drink some juice. Okay. So I have my water. <laughs> good, good. I, I have my, it's my green tea. Oh, I love it. That's a beautiful Do you have your donut? I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have to make sure everybody knows that's a prerequisite. You have, oh. to, you have your drink yeah. and your donut. Yeah, I don't eat a lot of donuts either, though. So, um, yeah. What do you do for breakfast? You know, quite honestly, my breakfast is usually a normal meal. It may even be more vegetables than anything else. Like, I'll go through, like, a bag of green beans or something for breakfast. Um, it's kind of oh, different. Um, I, need to but, get, I need to get with you on that. I need to follow your plan. Quite honestly, you, you know, before um, quarantine, I would be in the gym at 530. Um, so I was really trying my best to get in fasted cardio. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, of course, I'm, I'm drinking a lot of water first thing in the morning, working out um, without eating and then coming back and then after you you know work out like that you don't want to eat a donut <laughs> mm. unless it's like hot red light Krispy Kreme donut um <laughs> every now and then um but yeah I and people would joke at the office and be like there she is with a green beans yeah I, or a kale salad I, I would eat that for breakfast it's good I, I'm not a big um gotta be this type of breakfast type person uh every now and then if it's a special occasion if we're out and um maybe on like a getaway that's probably when i eat traditional breakfast but other than that i'm really not a traditional breakfast person you know at one time i wasn't either i would just kind of like have a protein shake in the morning if i felt like i just really needed something but I got away from that some kind, some, some way, but I'm going to get back and I'm going to use you as my inspiration. I'm going to remember this. <laughs> I'm going to practice being mindful of what I do in the morning. So to get started, can you just share a little bit with us about yourself and about your journey or whatever you would like to, for us to know about Ms. Rosalind Goodwin? Okay. Well, my name is Rosalind Goodwin. I am a wife of uh, stand-up comedian, comedian Mike Goodwin. <laughs> wife and wife and manager, actually. Um, I manage his bookings. Um, the mom of Gabrielle and Michael Goodwin. Gabby and I also have a business together. Uh, we invented and patented the first double face, double snap hair barrette for girls. Uh, it's First guaranteed non-slip hair barrettes, uh, solved that age-old problem of disappearing girls' hair barrettes, and uh, have been in business six years and are distributing uh, around the world, um, mm -hmm. and even in select Target stores. My son is nine years old and um, will definitely end up on stage one day. He, he is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> uh, so our family is, uh, of course, my priority. But I also serve as a vice president for engagement for the South Carolina Hospital Association and serve as a lobbyist for them. The association represents all the hospitals in the state of South Carolina. Uh, so um, wife, mom, advocate, and um, just really passionate about the well-being of our families and our communities. And I must add, very active in church. <laughs> Yeah, you're a multi-talented, anointed woman who wears many hats. I appreciate that. So considering that, how do you balance it all? How do you make it all work? Number one, I don't try to balance it all. I don't use the word balance. I don't try to balance because uh, I think trying to balance, it, it sets up the expectation that everything receives equal attention and equal weight. Yes. And it sets up, it sets you up for failure because <laughs> any given time, 
you know, my husband may need me more than my children need me. Right. Or I may have a really intense time going on at work and it's requiring more than I can give one of my businesses. Uh, so I don't try to balance and it frees me. What I do attempt to do is blend. Uh, and, you know, it's interesting now, I saw an article that now that we're home and quarantine and with everything that's going on with the coronavirus, that work-life balance is dead. I'm like, it's been dead for me. <laughs> uh, but it's all blended now. And I think now is really the time for people to think about, okay, what does blend look like? So blend for me looks like it's all part of my life. And mm -hmm. I am open to, I'm not trying to separate things and give them different weight um, and equal time in my life. I blend it. So when you go to, if you go to talk to anyone at my job, they know exactly what's going on with our businesses. Um, I'm not trying to separate them, hide them. You know, a lot of times our management meetings will start and people go, wow, what did Gabby do this weekend? Where did she go? Where was she traveling? Because she does, you know, speaking herself. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's, I blend it all together. I feel that all the things that we're doing, God has called our family to do. And it is all under the, the, the purpose of family. Uh, we often say family is our business. So it's not like my husband has a business over here. We got a business over here. We're all in this together. It's team Goodwin. So whoever needs help at that moment, whoever needs to get an order out that moment, whoever has a show and needs somebody to work the table, we're all in it together. We blend it all together. Um, so try not to separate things, try not to give everything equal weight and literally just asking God, okay, today is Saturday, May, was it 30th? I'm getting my dates mixed up. What do I need to focus on today? Amen. What strategy and wisdom do I have today? What, um, what's, what's, what's on my list today, God? What, 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 what insights have you given me on what I should accomplish today? And if I might not even touch one of the businesses today, you know, um, so it's really just leaning into him, uh, blending the different things that we have going on and recognizing that God has called us uh, for this work and this purpose. Oh gosh, that is so wonderful. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to replace balance with blend. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, and now we, um, you touched a little bit on COVID-19 and changes that, um, we've all experienced due to this pandemic. Now, how, if at all, has it uh, affected the way you do business or has it influenced a pivot or a shift in your business practices? Um, how have you handled adjusting to, you know, what's going on? Well, it certainly had a direct and significant impact on both of our family's businesses. As I mentioned, my husband is in entertainment. Um, so his whole calendar after mid-March <clears throat> just cleared. Uh, he was supposed to be doing a tour in Canada. We stopped counting dates that were canceled after about 29 because <laughs> it was just like, okay, this is, let's stop counting. Mm -hmm. uh, so significant impact. Uh, for him and for our daughter, we're in the middle of like peak season for trade shows. So, you know, Gabby had been invited to speak at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Had never been there. She was going to be on a panel there. She was going to have a vending table there. You know how huge that is. She was going to be speaking at the World Natural Hair Show in Atlanta, Georgia, and having a table there. All those two events were, were canceled. Mm -hmm. uh, so between Mike and Gabby and their appearances for speaking and doing stand-up comedy and tours, you know, our calendar just cleared. Uh, praise God, we have been listening to the counsel of our, our pastors, doctors, uh, Dr. Herbert Bailey, uh, Pastor Marsha Bailey, and, you know, instructing us to save. 
you know, yes. so spend, save, um, and I got the order mixed up, <laughs> uh, but save is mm -hmm. the important thing I was trying to communicate because you just, you never know when we may be in times of, of, of famine. Right. And um, because we had been diligent, mainly my husband had been diligent in saving, uh, we were able to kind of weather through until we could figure out, okay, what's our strategy? What's our pivot? Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I share a lot and we have a, a small group within our church dominating in business that you're a part of. And mm -hmm. I share quite often, I've been sharing recently. I was like, there is no business that can't continue to operate right now. You just got to be open to the strategy God gives you to pivot. Amen. If Mike is a stand-up comedian and still working right now, you can figure out how your business can still function right now. <laughs> you just got to be open. Uh, so you know, we started, you know, letting people know he is open to speak on podcasts, do live interviews. We experimented with, you know, we saw people like trying to do stand-up shows online without an audience and that's really weird and awkward <laughs> so we realized like no that's not what we want to do um stand-up comedy really depends on people's audience reaction and without that it just is off it lo mm -hmm. looks off we want to make sure we're pre preparing or producing something that's still in excellence um so we said okay that's not our pivot we're not going to be just have you up on a stage by yourself with no reaction from a crowd. So we figured out that the best way to engage with some of these people who still want, they, they need the joy. You know, so that's what I tell people in our group all the time. People need your services probably now more than ever before. Yeah. Uh, so people need to laugh. We still got to make sure that we're getting your mission and your purpose delivered to the people who need it most. What's the best way to do that in an excellent way? Mm -hmm. um, so we basically came up with a kind of interview type format with the host. And there are a number of churches who have hired him to bring joy to their congregations virtually. Oh, praise God. And Because, you know, they need that. Of course, they need the word and they need services. But, you know, right now, people of God just need, they need to laugh. They need the relief. There's yeah. so much going on in this world. I mean, the like. The Bible tells us laughter is good medicine. Yes. So, I mean, you, you need an escape. You, you need, um, you need the joy of the Lord. It's your strength right now. And some people mm. feel so weak with everything that's going on health wise, e economically, politically, um, yeah. in all these different cities. I mean, like you really do need the joy of the Lord. Uh, so we, we set it up that, you know, it's an interview style. We have a host. So there is some interaction because it's two people just like we're talking to each other right now. And then mm -hmm. you got people live in the comments. Um, so it is interactive. It is comedy. Um, it's a pivot. It's different from what he's used to doing. Uh, but a lot of people, he's doing a, a date night soon for a church. Uh, he's doing it for some teachers, uh, the end of the year celebration for them as well. Uh, so various types of clients. So, you know, we've pivoted there. Gabby's been doing a lot of virtual uh, talks and, you know, motivation and interviews as well. So we're not, we're not holding back from still doing what we're doing as far as sharing the inspiration of our brands. We're just having to do it in a different way for a little time. And then of course we were working to reschedule those face-to-face -face events that were planned and canceled due to the pandemic. Oh, wonderful. Wow. Yeah. And then we, you know, really, we were already selling online um, mm -hmm. as far as both brands. Uh, we really, you know, picked up a lot of, and uh, I guess did more to engage with people uh, online and creating bundles that uh, really spoke to their needs right now. So we created like a home hair care bundle of products we already had uh, hair. Um, moisturizing style cream, uh, 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 organizer, caboodle, barrettes. You know, basically, this is a bundle. If you buy this bundle, your hair will stay in place. Your, you'll keep your style and your moisture for days. And here it all, all of it is in a box. Uh, so we 
you know, created a sales page for that, marketed it as a home hair care bundle because we know people can go out and get their hair done. Uh, and, you know, we've been selling that. Uh, Mike had a recording that he did in Texas last year. We mm -hmm. spent this time getting that uploaded so people could buy it as a digital download. New comedy albums on his, on his website, comedianmikegoodman.com. Uh, so, you know, doing everything we can to make sure our services are provided digitally, our products are provided digitally, that people want to buy uh, some joy uh, and laughter that they can go and simply get a download. They don't have to wait to see him at a show. Um, they can download a show. Great. So he no longer goes by Bowtie Comedian? Bowtie Comedian is not, um, that, that's never been his name. <laughs> um, it, he, his uh, social media tags or handles are Bowtie Comedy. Okay. And he, he never intended for that to be, he just wore bow tie and it just kind of took off that people started calling him the bow tie, but that's okay. something we're going by. Okay. <laughs> he's comedian, my good one. Uh, his social media handles are bow tie comedy, but he's not the bow tie or the bow tie. I mean, some people may call him that and that's fine, um, but that's not how he, he brands himself. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that was cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> now, and Gabby, what Gabby with the hair care products now, is it just for natural hair or can I use it? Is it just for children? I use them. Um, so they're not just for children. Uh, and our, our products are really, I mean, I think we thought more so and they were formulated more so for natural hair. Uh, but I'll talk about one of our products that I know that works for all types of hair and really all three of them do. Uh, but we noticed that people were still using hair grease a lot. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, and it's been a staple in our community for generations. But what people don't recognize is that hair grease has a number of chemicals in it that actually suffocate the scalp. So we want to create a plant-based alternative. All of our hair products are plant-based, uh, all natural products. And it's a scalp pomade. It's light, uh, but it serves the same purpose. It's moisturizing the scalp, um, rejuvenating the scalp. Uh, so like we have people, of course, who uh, have processed uh, hair or chemically processed hair or natural hair using all three products. We have a, that moisturizing style cream that I mentioned that I use on all my hair uh, styles just to, uh, for it to air dry. We mm -hmm. use a, braids and twist and her twist outs. We have a tangling and conditioning milk um, for particularly for uh, tender headed people. I say people because my son is more tender headed than my daughter uh, and has worked wonders for him. Uh, so he detangles and picks his own hair with the milk. It, it's a leave in. Uh, then we have the pomade. So those three styling products um, are what we have now. We're in development of two or three more products to add to the line to extend it, but it's for all hair types. Okay. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to have to order. <laughs> my daughter has incredibly thick natural hair and she yes, I was FaceTiming with her the other day and she was trying to detangle it and twist it and she was having a time I mean <laughs> I said I don't know where that comes that must be her daddy's side of the family <laughs> I mean it was a mess and so I'm gonna definitely get this detangling milk for her and um and the scalp pomade so mm -hmm making my little notes. So, okay, so you all have been in business now for how many years? Uh, so with Gabby, uh, we Gabby and I have been in business six years. Mike has been doing stand-up comedy now probably about 12 years, but he's only been doing it full-time uh, maybe about seven or eight years. Okay, boy, that time flies by. Yeah. It did. It, it did. I like it was just too. yesterday. Gabby was, um, I think Gabby had just finished kindergarten because he was, a, a, you know, a school uh, counselor at Heathwood Hall here in our community and just doing comedy kind of on the side and, and mm -hmm. comedy just took off. Um, he actually ended up on stage because of connection at church. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. found his purpose through serving in media ministry at church. And uh, 
did not know that I had married a stand-up comedian. <laughs> actually thought I was marrying like a judge. She was a political science major, but hey, the joke was on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad he found his purpose though. Uh, and it's amazing how just through serving God, being faithful to God, that your purpose will, will find you. Amen. Amen. Sure will. So slap you smack upside your head. Yes. Okay, so operating in all the genres in, in the business field that you're in, how, um, well, I know you, but the people that don't know you, how do you maintain the integrity, you know, the being a Christian and, you know, because I know businesses can, it can be cutthroat. So how do you maneuver through these, different genres or different fields of business and maintain those Christian principles and your integrity? I mean, I, I think we focus a lot on, on customer service for both, both brands uh, and, and making sure that we're treating people the way we want to be treated. Amen. Um, it's no underhanded thing I mean very transparent um you know I like to tell people and it's truth when they're calling to inquire about booking Mike he's the most low maintenance artist you'll probably ever have at your organization he's oh. not I just want red skittles <laughs> and green M&Ms with no nuts I don't want no other, I don't want no brown M&Ms. I don't want no green M&Ms. Or I don't want no blue M&Ms. I just want the green ones with no <laughs> And some people like that. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't understand how you do this in the name of the Lord. <laughs> um, so <laughs> listen, we're grateful that you considered our services. We're grateful you considered buying our product. We're excited about serving you. We you know, do our best even on post to comment. Every time somebody shares, every time somebody comments, we are right back in the comments. And they're like, oh my God, they really commented. Like, no, we're watching this. We understand that there's so many people you could be sharing their posts for. So we appreciate you sharing our posts. You don't have to do that. You don't have to take up your page's real estate with our post. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Thank you for posting. Thank you for commenting on our post. Um, we're excited about serving you. So we, you know, that we, we deal with crazy customer service stuff, just like everybody else. You know, we deal with people who lying <laughs> and mm -hmm. saying they get something and they did, and we got the proof, you know, so we, we do all we need to do systems wise to make sure we have tracking and we can tell when a package was delivered. And so that helps people realize that, we know you're lying. Uh, we're not gonna call you a liar, but <laughs> we we see the tracking information. It was dropped off at your door at 8:55 a.m. on yesterday. You may want to go outside and make sure it's not there. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we deal with all of that, but we do do it all in the spirit of love. We do do it all in the spirit of gratefulness that people have decided to you know be patrons of our businesses. So. That's the way we handle it. Um, it, it there's certainly trying times that people, when you see they're you know, copying your ideas, mm. uh, that, that can be tempting to, to want to step out of your love circle. Um, you know, people, I mean, we literally have people who, who copy our product names like to the T, like you couldn't add like a new word in there. Like how you gonna name your milk the same thing our milk is named like wow <laughs> like just put something in there just put an ant just switch it up a little bit uh, so we see people doing that and that is definitely um tempting to like i said step out of the love circle but it's like okay well um that's a great compliment that people are wanting to copy ideas but like i said on the back end i make sure my systems and everything are correct we make sure I've protected as much as I can. Our trademark is secured. Um, you know, our patents are secure. So I'm doing mm -hmm. everything I can uh, to make sure that I'm protecting our brand. But 
we do everything in the spirit of love, spirit of service and gratefulness that people are patronizing our business or even copying our business. You know, it's a great compliment that uh, people want to be like you so much. <laughs> they just copy what you do. I'm telling you. Uh, so that's just kind of our philosophy in, in business. Uh, we are, uh, we wouldn't have our businesses were not for God. We're not words from God. God finding us through service to him, words spoken through our man and woman of God. Like we wouldn't even be in business for that. So it's the foundation of everything we do. So we operate as if uh, we're representing him on this earth and Amen. extended kingdom through our businesses. Uh, so we always want our king, our businesses to be witnesses of his love, of his grace, um, and of uh, of his sense of uh, wanting to draw people to him. And we, we believe that we, we do that and we can continue to do that uh, through expressing his love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. You said that so, so sweet. <laughs> now, having said that, then my next question I'd like to ask you is, um, what is your favorite scripture? Or what is the scripture that you, you base your business on? Well, we have a Could scripture. Be more than one. Yeah, well, we have a family scripture on our refrigerator. It's one of a few, but this one is the one on the top, Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ. Because um, being in business and having everything else we have going on, extracurricular, extracurricular and um our, our schedule can be really busy, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, our, our children see it every day. We confess it, that we can do all that God has called us to do as a family and extending his kingdom through business and entrepreneurship, because we're doing it through Christ, not on our own strength, not on our own might, uh, but through him, we can accomplish this purpose that God has called us for. So that is just kind of what we go back to, you know, when people ask, man, how do y'all do all of this? And I don't know, which I, I meant to share earlier. I don't do everything. Um, that's the other thing. I, I'm not trying to do everything. So how do you do it all? I don't do it all. I don't <laughs> try to do it all. I ain't even thinking about doing it all. I outsource, um, you know, for the things that I don't necessarily need to have my hands on. Mm -hmm. I don't do. Uh, so I believe in getting help. Uh, so I just wanted to throw that in there. I didn't mention mm -hmm. it during the balance part. That helps mm -hmm. me too. I bring in other people to help lighten the load. Yes, amen. And, and, and a part of that is really knowing yourself and knowing your strengths and your weaknesses. Oh, there absolutely. are a lot of people that will literally just drive themselves bananas trying to handle everything. You know, this is my baby. They're scared someone's going to get their idea or take some information and run with it. So they feel like they have to micromanage just everything. Right. And it puts you in a place where you, you're stressed out. Um, we know stress, stress can kill you. It causes illness. That's right. Which is what's going to be my a good segue into my next question is, how do you nurture your mind and feed your spirit? So I'm thinking like holistically, mind, body, and spirit. How do you do all that you do and, and maintain that blend? <laughs> We're not going to say balance. That yeah. blend of mind, body, and spirit. Exercise is a, a major part of it. And I know my, my regimen has definitely been impacted by the pandemic. And what I've done to adjust to that is really monitor what I feed my body. Amen. Um, so I'm a lot more mindful right now that I don't have the, you know, the intense regimen that I had before uh, physically active wise, of, of course, I'm, you know, still walking, I'm doing those things, but I'm not, it's not as rigorous as it was before. Mm -hmm. I'm very mindful about what I'm putting into my body. Mm -hmm. um, so without, I mean, there are 
very rare exceptions recently, but not eating processed food, you know, just trying to eat food as genuinely as it was brought to me. So <laughs> plants, plant-based, um, um, not a whole lot of carbs, uh, not just a whole lot of processed food. So really working to, you know, making sure the, the proper nutrients and vitamins are in my body and mm -hmm. seeing what I'm feeding my body because your body will give you what you give it. Amen. Uh, so, you know, that is really, really key. And I think a lot of times we forget that part when we're talking about self-care and we automatically go to massages and pedicures and, you know, all the type of stuff that we really can't do right now um, mm -hmm. unless you just really risky. <laughs> um, Self-care is being concerned about what you're putting into yourself. What are you doing with this temple, this body God has given you? Mm -hmm. um, are you, is it physically active? Is it properly nourished? Uh, so that is a, a major part, particularly for me. I can tell how productive I am based on what I put into my body. There's certain things you can eat and you just be like, okay, I can't do nothing else today. Right, <laughs> right. So it's just kind of like, okay, what, what kind of food stimulates my brain? Like what kind of food gives me energy? What food, and, and you know, I'm not saying that there's never a time that you don't want or even sometimes can need or indulge in something that's called a comfort food because you really may just need comfort at times mm -hmm. uh, through that. But you do that in moderation. Between that, um, reading the word, um, singing to myself and psalms and hymns as uh, the word says, meditating on the word, spending time alone. Uh, my mm -hmm. walks are alone. <laughs> but like, you taking the kids? No. <laughs> I'm taking the kids on this walk. I need this walk to clear my head. I need to be, even if it's just for 30, 40 minutes, Mm -hmm. by myself me and my father <laughs> and I'm getting in physical activity and every now and then I will also call someone um while I'm walking and it helps to just express maybe what's on my heart and on my mind and just to have somebody else listen and be like you know what yeah I understand that so it may be another mom of young kids mm -hmm. and I'm on the phone with them I'm just expressing whatever you know or another wife uh, with a very driven husband and I could just talk that's mental therapy and help as well being able to communicate yes. what's on your heart with no judgment not asking anybody to give me a solution I just need to be heard right now uh, so those are things that I incorporate into my daily life to make sure that um, I'm well that's wonderful that's wonderful well, wrapping up, I just would like to give you the opportunity to, you know, just express, um, you know, maybe give some encouraging words or express how, how you feeling today or, you know, just um, tell us how we can get in contact with you if we want to purchase products or, or book you or your husband, your daughter, um, just anything you would like to close us out with, any information you would like to give? Well, I know right now is a, um, a trying time. I woke up this morning feeling better than I have the last day, two days. Yes. But really waited the last two days. Mm -hmm. with all that's going on. Um, with the, the senseless murders that yeah. now it's not, it's not like they weren't happening before, but now they're recorded. Everybody sees them. Um, a black man and as a wife, a mother, an auntie, a daughter, a sister, a cousin, a friend, a black man. It can be draining to see all that's going on and even the response politically to all that's going on um also being in politics you know just just hits different because i know the power of people voting and 
how some of the stress we would be dealing with right now wouldn't even be happening if people truly exercise what they believed at the polls right years ago so it frustrates me even more um being in politics knowing how the system works and how change happens and to think back about how people did not exercise their power to avoid situations like this. Mm -hmm. And some still may not do that in a few months. Um, just the combination of that, um, seeing what's going on with, with black men and then recognizing people still may not do what's necessary to make sure we're not in this position again politically by exercising their right to vote. I, I just was, <clears throat> I don't know, I, I try to be, I was trying to be productive, but I just felt like I just couldn't, couldn't get anything done. Mm -hmm. So I realized, you know what, I'm just, I'm just going to take a break. Like I'm not going to try to make myself do whatever today. I'm just going to be in this place. I'm going to cry out to God. I'm going to talk to somebody. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna release what's on my mind and on my heart. <clears throat> Clear my head is for for mental health. Sometimes you may need if you're in that spot, you probably need a mental health recovery. Yes, you might not need you might not be able to take an entire day. Maybe it's a half a day. Maybe it's two hours. It's three hours that you are not on social media just connect. Are not trying to get work done you are just still with yourself processing what's going on with you maybe you need to do it with a friend you can talk with a friend over the phone um but you just you just need some time to clear your head mm -hmm. so that's my encouragement to people who may be listening now who just really may feel overwhelmed by all that's going on or stuck your your mind your body is telling you pull away process what's going on and then we can function uh, so that's my encouragement continue to be prayerful um knowing that god is in control he's the lawgiver he's the judge he he sees us mm -hmm. uh so continue to lean into him trust him and, um, you know, that, that's my encouragement for today. I'm going to spend some time, some more time today, just recovering mentally, processing what's going on emotionally. Yes. And then I'll be able to function and be made more productive maybe later on today. But I'm not going to push myself. I'm not going to put pressure on myself today. It's a lot that's going on. <clears throat> and it's okay. Um, I'm not going to pressure myself today, so you shouldn't feel pressure on yourself today amen um with all i got going on i can take a break and you can too absolutely it's needed for your mental health and if anyone wants to reach any one of my family uh you can basically go to two websites uh, to reach book buy merchandise or product a uh, comedian mike goodwin.com uh, it's for my husband and GabbyBows.com, G-A-B-B-Y-B-O-W-S.com is uh, for the Confidence brand, uh, the hair products and the non-slip guarantee barrettes. Very good. Well, I, again, would like to thank you for joining me this morning, joining the Facebook community. Um, for such a candid and open discussion. Uh, you've given us several nuggets and you uh, took really the words out of my mouth as far as um, just detaching from social media and, and television just to, because um, a lot of people will go through a vicarious trauma behind this. Mm -hmm. And you know, you suffer battle fatigue and PTSD. So it's very important that you know yourself and, and you know, you know what you handle, you can handle. So detaching, um, even if it's for four hours, 
um, during the day where you just turn everything off and, and put on some peaceful music or you can even be in silence. Read something encouraging, nurture your mind, your body and your spirit. Go for a walk. Listen to the birds chirp. Have a yes. conversation with God. And, yes. you know, just get centered, you know, control your breathing, center yourself and um, relax, you know. Uh, think from the top of your head down your body and relax every part of you, you know, as you are, um, you know, doing your deep breathing exercises. So I just thank you and I appreciate you and I wish you many blessings, much success, prosperity to your house. You, my sister in Christ, and I love you. <laughs> Don't always get to talk to you, but I feel like, you know, we we are ready right there. Yeah. So, Thank enjoy you. the rest of your day. Thank and, you. Um, you too. Love you and give kisses to your family. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.